in terms of criminality, it makes a massive impact to the people that we're investigating. Often, when you see them at sentencing, nonplussed, quite happy with the sentence that they get, they're sometimes smiling, thumbs up, and they're not making the same sorts of faces when we go back and we take the house and the car and they're coming out of prison and they've lost all that status and the lifestyle that they had previously. Dealing with financial crime, it's often time consuming, you're pouring through records. We've had cases where we've had 80 plus bank accounts that need to be examined and there's often layering of funds between the accounts to try and disguise what's going on. The toughest part is some of the investigations that you get involved in. Uh, being a financial investigator, it's not just about going and getting the confiscation orders. You're often tasked with dealing with other types of investigations, so assisting with missing persons, uh, assisting with wanted offenders, uh, and murder investigations, and, and sometimes it's the, the victim stories that are quite uh, difficult and um, it's, it's always good when you can get a result for them. Uh, the best part of the job for me is uh, when you've invested a lot of time in the case and you go to court with it and you're just waiting for the, the judge or the magistrate to give you that uh, the decision at the end and that's that's the cup final moment when you win that and they say yeah forfeit the money or take the house off them that's the best bit